Get it, get it. Girl, what? My girl got a bronze, period. What's going on? We gotta talk about Simone Biles, cause baby, the way these people were trying to eat into her and making it seem like that she had gave up on the world and she, she, like that, oh my God. And I'm just like, this girl is taking care of herself. This girl is taking care of herself. Can no one see her injury or know where she's at besides her? Nobody else. And honestly, it is believe black women. I don't have to understand gymnastics or you know the stuff that you try to explain, the twisties and all the other stuff, understanding muscle memory. I don't need to know, I don't need her to explain. If sis needs a break, she needs a break, period. And I think that was very important on her to speak on that uh, and not force herself and potentially injure herself in something that can, you know, be devastating to her and her career. So she bet on herself. And she's like, you know what? I'm not going to, I'm not going to put myself in harm's way for these things. Uh, so y'all know that the things that's going on with Simone, Simone Biles. Uh, she, you know, took a break. She took herself out of the Olympics and she came back. And it was a lot of discourse primarily by white folks who do not care about Simone, do not care about uh, black folks, do not care about black women, who were just like, oh, well, she did this and she should have took one for the team. And they're like, take one for the team for what? To a system that does not care about her, that a system is not designed to protect her. Like, why? It absolutely makes no sense to me. It makes no sense whatsoever. So, um, it's one of the things that I take very serious when it comes to like mental health. Like. I try to explain that even on this platform, how important it is for me to be at a hundred percent when I'm getting in front of this camera. It's important to me because I don't want to come in with any bad energy and talk about something. I'm taking something personal. I'm taking it something that may, I might've taken it wrong or, um, and I'm just out here just upset or like just not in a good space to be able to give my opinion on some stuff. Like that affects, like I can't explain when I'm not in a good space. I had an is issue last week, and I'm going to be very transparent. My internet was going up and down. Like, she was doing the most. It was a lot going on. It was stormy. The power was going out. And I just wasn't in a good space. Like, by the time everything got fixed, I wasn't in a good space to be able to record. And I didn't record. That's why you do all the video Thursday. That's why you're just not seeing me, like, been four or five days. Like, I needed to rest my mind. I needed to rest my spirit. I'm just like, girl, you know, this energy that I'm feeling Tuesday ain't the same how it is Thursday. Like, this Thursday, I, it's just not giving. I don't want to get in front of the camera just because I have to. Uh, I want to make sure that it's the best content that I can provide. And I, I, like, I'm just, that is how I decide, like, giving an insight of how I feel when I'm, in, like, going in my head, it's an injury or something I'm experiencing that you cannot see. You can only take my word for it. So I, I, I applaud this, this young lady, this young woman, this young black woman for just, you know, bending herself and saying, you know what, I'm, I'm a bow out kindly, period. Um, let's move on and talk about some other stuff, some very funny stuff. So Aston Kutcher and um, his Miley Coons. Girl, apparently they was doing an interview, honey. Let me pull it up, because you, you people are weird. Y'all are weird. Um, and, <laughs> and, they were talking about that they don't, you know, they don't take baths and their children don't. Um, so I'm gonna read something, you know, last week Hollywood couple Ashley Kutcher and Monica Kunis made news after they revealed they do not bathe themselves and their children daily. Now it seems the idea of taking a bath daily has been so normalized that the couple's statement may seem out of the ordinary. However, experts suggest that Kunis and Kutcher's hygiene maintaining Practice may not be wrong after all. And I guarantee you it's probably some white doctor or whatever. Let me tell you something. We... <laughs> the last thing I want to hear is why people not taking no bath. I already found out y'all don't wash y'all legs. Y'all don't wash y'all hands. And y'all not getting no vaccines. Y'all don't want to wear masks. Y'all just want to infect everybody. <laughs> like, that's all y'all want to do. <laughs> like, that, like, y'all have literally taken out 
civilizations from bringing disease to people. Like, wash your hands. What is wrong with that? Now, let me tell you something. I'm going to be completely transparent. We're going to talk about it. We got to talk about this because between this and y'all not separating y'all whites from y'all darks when y'all washing clothes, I'm finding out y'all not washing y'all sheets. Well, I'm going to let sheets lie. Y'all not washing y'all y'all towel, y'all face towel, y'all bath towels. With bleach, it's bothering me. Let me tell you something. Bleach is influential in my life. I put bleach in my dishwasher. Girl, if I had to buy another one, I just have to be I just give it a little tap, 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 tap in. Because I don't want no bacteria. I want, I want all of it gone. Because, girl, look, me and my T-cells, we ain't come to play. We ain't come to play with y'all. I wash my dishes, bleach, period. And I don't use bleach on the floor because it mess my floor because it's, it's no carpet and whatever. It's, I don't know what type of, it's engineered wood. But when I'm cleaning my counters and surfaces, it's giving bleach. I find out y'all don't even put in no cap of bleach when y'all washing y'all towels and y'all washing all y'all stuff together. I would never come spend night at y'all house. I would never take a bath at y'all house. I would never wash my face. I'm washing my face with the towel that you just washed your ass with last week. No, ma'am. Justin ain't get. It's not giving for me. It's not giving for me. I'm not doing it. It's a no for me. It's a no for me. I, 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 I'm not a, I'm not drunk for old, but I don't play like that. And to find out that, you know, you got the ones who just don't believe in taking baths. Now, for me, I'm going to be completely honest. Since I work from home, I do not take as many baths. I know folks going to probably drag me. Um, like, probably like right now, um, when I get like when I get done with this like recording, I'm taking the shirt off. I'm hanging back up. I haven't sweated in it here. It's very cool. I feel good now. If I sweat like da 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 da, it's giving oh yeah da da da. But I don't like some folks take two baths a day. Some people take one bath a day. I like to take mine primarily in the morning time. Sometimes at night, but it depends. Uh, but I think it, it two inches on. But I, I think when you say daily, like you need to be specific, girl. Like, what do you mean? How many days you going without taking a bath? How many days? And we talking about skin and all that other stuff. I understand, girl. We got moisturizer. We got all type of lotions, slippers, perfumes, all of that, girl. We got all of the things. Put this stuff on your body, white folks. Y'all ain't even using lotion like that, period. So I don't understand what's going on. Like, girl, I'm confused. Wash your, wash your ass. Like that's it. Like, like, take a bath, take a bath, like, girl, I, if you have access to it, like, come on now, come on now, Aston, and y'all, y'all millionaires, like, come on now, girl. Like, if, if the folks on Twitter were dragging me up so bad, <laughs> it's that meme from Twilight, when <laughs> we had first seen Bella and smelled her, and he <laughs> did this with his nose. Somebody said this, Aston, <laughs> my little children, when <laughs> me in the class. <laughs> when I tell you, my eye just almost popped out because I'm laughing so hard. That is hilarious to me. It is pleasing to me. Like, that is funny. Like, girl, you are out here saying that y'all just not, y'all just not gonna take, oh girl, of course, for kids and infants, Dr. Andrew Doyle, girl, pediatrician from Wellstar Health System in Marietta, Georgia, recommends cleaning with soap, uh, soap once or twice a week. Ho, 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 oh. This man said once or twice a week. Like, girl, I can see you skipping one day. I'll let y'all pass for one day, depending on what you're doing. Like, I can see one day. Uh, but, girl, if you ain't doing that, you, you, I know you ain't brushing your teeth. Like, we have advanced too far in medicine and all of these things for y'all to be out here just. I throw my hands up to clear my soul and so washing away. Y'all need to wash your ass. It's not making sense. It's not making sense. Like, oh my God, y'all. Now, disease, everything. It's just like, girl, y'all just out. That's why Delta's right here doing, I'm telling you, that's why Delta. 
Shoo shoo. Like that's why that's why I dealt with is rampant because y'all just don't want to do right. Y'all don't want to wear a mask. You don't want to get vaccinated. You want to breathe on people. You don't want to get 50, no five, ten feet. You want to breathe on people. You want like what is y'all problem? Y'all don't let folks park where they want to park. You don't let people like what is y'all problem? Y'all are like it's too much. This is why I don't get no sponsorship. Cause look, I swear I want to drag so bad. I just want to. Girl, let me, <laughs> let me just be honest. Girl, I can't. Let me tell y'all something. So the folks who I got my home loan from, one of my friends worked there. <laughs> He's so sweet, I love it. He was trying to get them to let me like be a sponsor. Baby, them folks looked at my face. <laughs> Hell no. Baby, I like, let me tell you, I'll be trying to tell folks, like, I am not interested in that because I am not gonna be portraying myself to be. I'm girl, I'm not happy, I'm not proud to be no veteran. Period. I'm not proud of helping to colonize the colonize land. I'm not, but I am gonna take some of these benefits. But I am gonna secure. The, I'm gonna secure what y'all give me. Like, listen, especially for the veterans that y'all messed over. Uh, but yeah, um, as a culture in my like, I know y'all house thing. I don't want to sit on y'all couch. Like, girl, I, this one house. I ain't taking my shoes off. Girl, for what? My shoes probably cleaner than y'all bodies. The bottom of my shoe. So let's talk about Michael Shea. Um, Michael Shea, this, uh, it's just a very, just, just a very corny, corny black man, just very corny, um, and he's facing backlash for, um, you know, a joke he posted on Instagram, it wasn't even a joke, he said he had a joke for Simone, Simone Biles, and it's just like, girl, for what, like, and then he said his Instagram was hacked or something. So he posted it on Instagram. He said, I had a joke for Simone Biles. And why are you talking about? Why in this moment where this girl is dealing with it, why do you feel like, do y'all literally want to get paid for, for stepping on black women? It's disgusting to me. Y'all need prayer. Y'all need prayer. Like, I, I, uh, oh my gosh. Like, he, and he's, this girl is like, ain't no telling what she's going through. You like, I got a joke. It's like, bro, you don't shut your corny ass up. Oh my God. And then you had them folks from TMZ trying to make, well, I mean, you know, I, don't know, I like jokes and jokes, sarcasm and all this other stuff. Michael Shea is not really funny, to be honest. He's not. I mean, Saturday Night Live, she's a hit or miss, girl. And a lot of times she be missing. The jokes, but let me tell you something. Sound that lot ain't that funny. She has a cute, and I, I'm somebody who loves that type of comedy, political comedy, all that other stuff, playing on stuff. But let me tell you something, girl. Mad TV where where it's at. Like, girl, homegirl, I think I, and Deborah who played Whitney Houston and Beyonce had me hollering. Mad TV was where it was at. Honestly, has Jim Carrey ever hosted Saturday Night Live? I wonder. Hey, Google, has Jim Carrey ever hosted Saturday Night Live? On the website usatoday.com, they say, Jim Carrey is ending his presidential stint on Saturday Night Live with hey, Joe dear. Biden. The hey, comedian took hey, to Twitter dear. ahead of the last SNL episode of the year Saturday to announce he will not be returning to the sketch show to portray Biden. I also found an answer to this question. What years just... did Jim Carrey host SNL? Do you want to hear it? No, girl. Oh my God, I think I was getting Jim Carrey confused. I think I was getting um, him being on Mad TV confused with um, him being on that other show. I, that's what it was going on. Like, girl, I'm sorry. I had a, a brain fart, period. Uh, but, girl, Saturday Night Live ain't that funny. Michael Shea ain't funny. I want him to shut up. He probably got a white wife. That's all I got to say. Moving on. Look at the concerts, girl. Lovers and Friends concert, girl, is giving next year. I don't know if y'all heard about it. Lovers and Friends uh, Festival 2022. Girl, she is looking kind of cute, girl. It's got a cute little lineup. They got Lauren Hill, Shanti, Jaru, Timbaland, Sean Paul, well, my interest, Genuine, Escape, Jodeci, Maya, Cameron, Pretty, Ricky, Emma Reed. Like, I don't know why they doing it and where they doing it in Vegas. I wanna go. It's May 14, 2022. Are the tickets on sale now? I wanna go to this. But maybe, let me, hey, girl, COVID got to be gone. Delta cannot be on the lineup. Delta cannot, the Delta B. Delta B, girl, she cannot be on the lineup. She cannot. I just, I cannot, I cannot. Come on, Jocelyn, I cannot. She can't be on the lineup too. I don't want to be going nowhere with Delta. The only person, the only place I want to go with Delta is on the plane. 
with the wang. I want to be flying high. You know how I feel. I want to be doing this. I don't want to be doing this. Like, girl, one of my friends is trying to come here for the uh, for the Labor Day weekend because pride. I'm so glad when my friends encourage them, girl, get the vaccine. I'm like, girl, I love you, sis. I love you. Mm. Let me tell you something. I ain't going to be hanging out with y'all. Y'all ain't vaccinated. Delta around her, she, girl, she out here doing a bank head bounce everywhere. Like, she out here doing drum agent routines, girl. She, she marching. And I want her to stop. I want her to stop. I want Miss Delta to stop, girl. Like, I am tired of her. Like, Girl, girl, she, Delta, I want her to stop. And folks think that you're, oh, like, we exaggerate. Delta is my plan. Girl, y'all don't be watching the news. I know who do not watch the news ain't gonna tell me. Who ain't researching, who only reading, um, getting their news from uh, Shade Room. Girl, Delta is not playing, girl. She has higher viral load. She is not playing with the girls for the 99 and the 2000. She, she's not playing. And while I'm talking about this, lovers and friends, she sounds cute. I want to go there. But, I, like, Miss Delta's doing her thing. She is doing her thing. She gets everywhere. She's in different areas. She, she's manifesting. She's, she's doing a lot. And I think people are taking it serious. Like, if you ain't been vaccinated, please go, girl. Because we, we can't play. We can't play these games of folks saying, well, what about, girl, a billion people have been vaccinated. And only two people, like, come on, girl. Like, girl, your luck is worse going to work for these companies paying us minimum wage. Please stop. Like that's the if you can make an appointment, get girl. If you need you if you can't get there, please I will literally find a way. If you try to get vaccinated, girl, please let me know. DM me and say, girl, I ain't got no Uber there. I will give you $20 to get there. Like, girl, get you to the get your ass there. Get these folks. I will pick you up. Like, get vaccinated. Cause it's getting serious. And I really feel like that, that the winter is going to be worse. Girl, the shit is steady going up and we, we still outside. We still outside. We are outside. When I say outside, it means we are where, you know, it's good air circulation. I mean, outside, not indoors. What do y'all, if we come in with this high virus in different areas, what do you think is going to happen when we start going back indoors and we are surrounded around people? We've been seeing all these super spread events. It's going to be chaos. These kids are going back to school. It's going to be a mess. It's about to be just for the game another 20 pounds because I'm going to be at the house eating again. Like, I'm telling girl, I'm going to be 300 pounds. I'm going to be 300 pounds because it's a mess. Like, that's why I'm glad I even have my trainer come in here and working out with me in my garage. I'm just like, girl, I'm not going to the gym. But y'all, huh, huh, huh. like y'all giving birth and y'all breathing COVID all in my hand. I know y'all ain't getting no shots. I know y'all ain't getting no shots. Get your vaccine this week. You cannot be waiting till it's getting wintertime to get the shot. If you needed both of them to be fully doing what she needs to be doing. It takes like what, three weeks before, two, three weeks after you get the first shot for her to even do a little something, give you 50%. And the second one, you know, girl, get your shot. Stop playing. Stop playing. Stop. Stop waiting. You have no time to wait. This shit is serious. And they even, like the doctor I was watching today on CNN, he was like, girl, them little dumb masks y'all putting on, that shit ain't doing nothing. <laughs> girl, she dragged. She said, y'all need M95 masks. Like, y'all need M them masks y'all putting on, girl, yeah, you can still smell smoke in them. So I know COVID. So with COVID, that the mask might have worked with like without the variant, but with this variant being a high virus even more, the chance of you contracting even with a mask on are like increasing. We ain't dealing with just the basic COVID. We're dealing with COVID D. It's COVID D. She is coming, girl, and she is picking us down. And it's not feeling good. It's no lose. Get, get, let the vaccine be the lose so she can just be resisting in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Like, I'm asking y'all, please, girl. I'm asking y'all, please. Let's, you know what, that's like, girl, let, let, let. And I'm trying, I had to tell one of my friends the other day, girl, she was saying, well, such and such got in, her leg just popped off. Then they asked me to be telling the CDC. She's <laughs> like, if you, if you got a family member who took the thing and something I fell out or toenail fell you need to be talking to the CDC. You don't be talking to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You need to be talking to the center of disease and control. You don't need to be writing on Facebook. You need to be talking to them. Don't come telling me these dumbass stories of your toenail falling off after the West thing. 
get your ass that vaccine. Cause let me tell you something. One thing about it. One thing about it. Me and my T cells are not coming to play. Y'all will not. I'm telling you now. And I told my friends, if you bring COVID to me and I get sick, I'm calling your name. I'm not saying Jesus. I'm gonna be like, it was such and such. It was on my last breath. I'm not playing. And, I, and I'm like, girl, I don't want to be around y'all. If you ain't got no vaccine, girl, you don't need to be around me. And that's that's on that's on that's on COVID twenty. Period. That's on COVID twenty because I am not gonna be playing y'all. So that's all I got. If y'all friends come around y'all, they tell me, I ain't get vaccinated. Well, girl, you need to shut them down. Wear your mask. Do what you can because, girl, I just, like, I'm starting to hear those stories again. We're starting to see those stories. Uh, once again, of such and such passing away and such and such contracting it. Da, 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 da. It's like, girl, it's getting serious. And then we need to think about the babies. But since, since Boosie talking about, he can think about the kids. I guess, I bet you Boosie ain't got no damn vaccine. I know he ain't taking one. There's children who cannot get the vaccine because it's not authorized for them. So if you if you can sick and you got a vaccine, you can still pass it on to your loved ones, your, your like these children. Like, come on, y'all, we got to do better. And I'm tired of these fear tactics. I'm tired of that. Like, I'm I'm seeing everything that's going on, and it's just irritating me. It's just like the one or two stories of folks who well, uh, you know, such and such got the vaccine, and I need to stop doing that voice. <laughs> Such and such got the vaccine and um, they um, they wasn't walking apart from them. They was they, they got sick. Vaccines are not a hundred percent. But if you look at statistics, if you look at the information, if you look at the data, the chances of you going away and pa and what's funny is, and I'm gonna throw some major shade. Some of these girls who are out here talking about this shit 24 7 ass been every goddamn world. Like, some of the folks who are talking about this, like, girl, you've been on the plane with the Wayne, you've been everywhere, you ain't sat down, you've been going out, you've been doing stuff. Like, I'm not understanding. I ain't been nowhere, I ain't flew nowhere in a minute. The last place I went, is when I went to, what was that, I went to New Orleans. And it was getting very much masked up where I was at. But you know, like I did as much as I can, but now with Miss Delta, like, I'm not doing shit. Folks ask, girl, it's at the house. I'm at the house, I'm at the house. I can't play with her. I'm not. But girl, these girls catching trips and they catching, baby, they catching flights and they doing this stuff and then get, baby, I be screaming. <laughs> Y'all be having me screaming. It be, it, 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 it be, Girl, you folks be talking about deep though. Like, girl, I'm just like, nah, 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 nah. and it's just like, girl, but you, you, you going out of town, you going out, going out of the state, going out of the country. So is it really serious? Or are you trying to keep an image? Okay. That's all I got, girl. This is my talk uh, on Miss Delta. That's all I got, girl. I'm gonna go pick up me some steak from Low Country Steakhouse. Cause it's so, they steak so good. Cheese is so good. I'm gonna go pick up me a big old steak. Well, I got a big old butt. Hey, I'm about to eat the steak. I'll talk to y'all later tonight. <laughs> Bye.